Hello and welcome to this video, still talking about Power Query Basics. This video, PQB 04.5, actually we're supposed to have the last video to be the final video in this series. However, I received a lot of inquiries about how to load Excel files from a folder into Power Query, how to combine all data from these Excel files into Power Query and actually I did a video called PQB04 it was discussing a similar topic which is combining data from a folder containing CSV files however some colleagues try to apply the same techniques while having data inside Excel sheets but it seems it didn't work correctly that's why I decided to add this video to the series and I call it PQB04.5 because it is pretty much related to video PQB04 we are going to demonstrate how we can do this through two methods first one we are going to use this button we call it combine files button and also we're going to look how we can do it using a function called excel.workbook we are going to add a custom column and we'll write this function inside the custom column and see how we can retrieve the data and combine all the data from the folder that contains excel files if you want to follow along while watching the video or even if you want to practice after watching the video please go down in the description section you will find the link please use it to download the excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos in our practical example today we have four files inside a folder called regional sales each and every file related to one region and it contains sales data for the sales reps in this region I want to consolidate and combine all these together inside one query and also at the end of the video I'm going to another folder called additional files if you check here you will find additional four regions I'm going to copy and paste these four files inside my original folder and we'll see if Excel can consolidate the additional files automatically or not let's have a look inside our files here you go the first file for the region Alex you can see that I have four columns of data first one is the sales rep ID and then and then the sales rep name then the region and finally the sales value also please note that we have the name of the sheet containing the data that we want to consolidate named sheet one and this name should be identical in each and every file that we want to combine also I need to make sure that the number of columns are identical and each and every data type are identical also otherwise while combining it will make a lot of issues let's check another file here is the second file and also we can notice it is identical to the first one and again the name of the sheet is sheet 1 the sheet that we want to consolidate back to first file you notice that I have sheet 1 and sheet 2 and inside sheet 2 I have some irrelevant information you can see that I have two tables if you check the name of the tables expenses and here is open orders it is not related to the data that we want to consolidate however it is exist in one of the files and we'll see while doing the combination how we are going to deal with this extra or additional information as we are going to use power query to retrieve data from a folder we are going to start from a new workbook it is book one I just put two headers for the two methods that we are going to use so let's start directly with the first one I'm going to data ribbon on the top and then on the left hand side I have the get and transform area which is power query area I'm going to select get data and then from file and then from folder a small window will pop up and will ask you where exactly the path of your folder I'm going to paste it here Control V to paste and then click on OK it will launch the navigator inside the navigator you'll see a preview or your four files you have first one Alex as one and so on and so forth and here is all information that you can get from the file explorer and then I'm going to hit on transform in order to trigger the power query editor inside power query editor on the right hand side you will see the name of the query inherited from the name of the folder let me change this to combine files hit enter and if you look at the data you have exactly the same information that we get in the navigation I want to concentrate on the first column you will see here the column called content and you will see the word binary in the four rows if you put your mouse right here in the empty area beside the binary word you will see the name of your file here so all information resides here and I want to extract the information from this 
column. In order to do this, I'm going to hit this button. You can see that in the header, I have a small button containing two arrows facing down. And if you hover over it, you'll see the, the word combine files written here. If you just click on this, Power Query will do all the work for you. Although all steps will be automatically generated, however, Power Query would ask you only one question. It will ask you how to combine the files. This will be through asking about a sample file. If you open this drop down, you'll see all your files, Alex, Aswan, Cairo, but Excel automatically selected the first one. So I'm good to go with the first one. And here is the content of the first one. And I need to answer the question what I want to combine exactly. I have, you can see here, if you remember, we previewed the data, we have two tables, expense, you can preview it here in this area. This is the table expense. And here is the open order table as well. And I have sheet one where the data I want to combine lives. And also I have sheet two, which contains these two tables. I need to answer this question, what exactly I want to combine. Actually, I want to combine the data in sheet one. So I'm going to select that sheet one. And here is the data preview. I can just make sure that I'm looking at the correct data and then hit OK and Power Query will continue the job for you. Congratulations, Power Query finished the job for you. You have your data now in one query. You have the source name, which is the name of the file. For our case, it is Alex, Aswan, Cairo, and so on. Also, you have the data that you require, which is sales rep ID, sales rep name, the region, and the, the sales value. And if you look at the left-hand side, automatically Power Query generated a big folder called Transform File from Combined Files. It contains two folders, helper queries containing some queries, and also other query, which is your final product, which is the combined files query that we created together. All these steps is just helper steps to allow Power Query to automatically do the transformation for you. And here is your final product. You cannot change anything here because if you change anything here, it will impact directly your final product. So you can just collapse this and focus on your query, the combined files query. On the right hand side, you'll see the applied steps all automatically generated. I'm not recommending that you change anything in this automatically generated uh, steps. However, you can continue doing further transformation in the next steps. So in our case, I don't need the source.name because it is a redundant information. I have the name of the region here. So let me just select the header and from the home ribbon, I'm going to select remove columns. It will remove this column and you'll see additional step applied here. No problem, you can continue do any required transformation to this file. But for this case, we are ready to load this file. I'm going to home again, close and load, close and load too. From the import data window, I'm going to select table and existing worksheet. I'm going to select A3 and click on OK. The queries and connection pane will open. You have here the big folder. You can just collapse as we did in the editor. And also you have your query 40 rows loaded and you have your table generated with all information all combined together from four files. Now let's try to do it using the excel.workbook. I'm going to follow the same steps from data ribbon on the left hand side get data from file and then from folder control v to paste the folder path and then ok transform data inside power query editor the name of the query inherited from the name of the folder let me change this to excel underscore workbook i cannot use dot in the name of the queries and then enter again i need to focus on this column, the content column. But this time I want to retrieve the data manually, not using this uh, double arrow. So I'm going to add a custom column from add column ribbon. I'm going to add custom column and this will trigger the custom column window. No need to change the name. I'm going directly to the formula area and I'm going to start writing my function Excel E X E L it has to start with E capital and then dot W capital again and O R K B double O K and then open bracket. I have all the columns available here. I'm going to focus on the first one, the content. I'm going to double click or you can just select and click on insert and then close the bracket and you can check down here. You don't have any syntax errors and then click on OK. You will see that I have the custom column created at end of the query. If you check the information here now, it's pretty much different. You will see the content of each file. I have here the Alex file. It contains two sheets and do two tables if you remember. And this is exactly what Excel workbook function did. So let me select this column and then press and hold control. And I'm going to select 
the name because I need also the name information like what query did automatically so I'm going to replica exactly what they did but using this manual method right click and remove other columns now I have only the content and the name of each and every file now I can expand the custom column using the expand button once I hit on it it will open this small window don't forget to uncheck user original column name as prefix and I'm going to select all information and click on OK you'll see that all the information expanded I have the content of the four files you'll see here Alex 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 why because we have four objects two sheets and two tables if you remember and then Aswan Cairo Fayoum each have only one sheet I want to focus only on the data that I want to combine so I want to get rid of the non-relevant data so let me select from the item column here I'm going to select the filter I need only anything called sheet one so I'm going to unselect select all and then I'm going to select only sheet one and then click on OK now I have four files and only four sheets and each and every one called sheet one I can check the data from here this is for Alex you can check the second one it's for Aswan and then third one for Cairo and then Fayoum everything is correct I need this column only and also to keep the name column I'm going to select the first one press and hold control and then select the other one right click and then remove other columns now I can just use the expand button again and then click on OK and here you go all the data combined together but you need to do some transformation so the first transformation required is to promote the headers I have the first line containing the headers so I'm going to promote the headers from the home ribbon I'm going to select use first row as a header and then click automatically the headers will be promoted I need to change the name of the first header double click let me call it source because this is the name of the source file you'll see that automatically Excel generated a change type step let me get rid of this and then I'm going to do it at the end delete the second transformation is I want to get rid of the second third and fourth header why because if you remember each and every file containing header I used first one as the header of the query but second and third and also fourth I don't need and this can cause a lot of problems because you can see that here I have all numbers but this one is text so this can do a lot of issues let me select from the filter I can just scroll down and uncheck and click on OK and now all gone you have only the required data let me do the change type step I'm going to select the first column and press and hold shift and select the last column and then I'm going to transform I have this lovely icon detect data type Excel will do it automatically for you I think I'm good to go I have all the data types corrected and each and every one is good I can go to home close and load close and load to from the import data window again I'm going to select table existing worksheet g3 is okay and then click on OK the new table will be populated and also you have 40 rows but this time I didn't delete the first column let me go back double click select the first column from the header remove columns close and load the query will be reloaded and the table will be readjusted now it is identical with the first one no problem at all 40 rows each and the same result exactly now let's add the additional four files and see what will happen here is my additional files I'm going to select all and then control C going back to regional sales folder and then control V to paste now you have all the files in one folder go back to your query right click on the first one and refresh you can check that you have all the additional regions and you'll see that the additional information is coming here you can do the same here right click and refresh loading 80 rows all information is loaded and this is fantastic you don't have to redo your work each and every step that you recorded it will be reapplied on the new data we saw how we can do it using combined files and also using excel.workbook that was all for today and finally please subscribe like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and see you in the next video and bye